Welcome to Dove and Dragon Radio. I'm your host, Emma Vustrak. I'm here with my special guest, R.C. Carr. Welcome. How's it going? Good. Now you have Call Sign Ghost out. And I know it's in, do we have that in paperback yet or just ebook and hardcover? It's in paperback too. Ah, see. You know more than I do, and I'm the um, publisher. <laughs> That's a little <laughs> scary. <laughs> I try to keep track. I know. You're awesome for that. You keep me on task sometimes. <laughs> yeah. by asking. I'm good for something. <laughs> See, you have to keep your publisher on their toes, right? So I try to keep everybody on their toes. It makes life more interesting. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. So how's the weather down there? And you're in... Virginia. Morgantown, West Virginia. Morgantown. Yeah. Not, that, not You're too down far by my from family. you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like 62 degrees and sunny today. It's not bad, but it's been cold all last week. So this is our first day in a couple of days anyway that it's nice enough to be out. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yesterday we have all four seasons. Yeah. <laughs> we get that here too. <laughs> yeah. It, Kind of, if you're over on the West Coast, you're not going to understand this. We have winter with the snow. We have spring with the rain. We have summer because it goes up like 75 degrees, and then it drops down to like 60 in the evenings, all in the same day. With rain and wind, just for good measure. Oh, yeah. We we mix everything in at the same time. It's it's a phenomenon that we all deal with over here on the East Coast a lot. I mean, there's other states that do it, but we see this more. So let's talk about all sign goes a little bit, because last time I talked to you, I think you were writing a sequel or something for it that I haven't seen yet. Uh, it's not a sequel. It's a same genre, mystery thriller kind of thing. And Jack will make an appearance in the second one, but it's, he's not the main character or the main focus by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, okay. For our listeners that has, hasn't listened to the original interview, why don't you give us a little synopsis of the Call Sign Ghost? Okay, so Call Sign Ghost is about a really cool character named Jack who is a former sniper for the army rangers and he goes to work for the u.s marshals also as a sniper after his army career is over and he's really successful as that for a really long time and then suddenly one day when he's on a mission he freezes up and he's diagnosed with ptsd and on the job anxiety and since he couldn't pull the trigger they put him on administrative leave so he returns to his hometown and kind of just falls backwards into a murder mystery. That's that's the gist of it. Okay. Now, how much of your military career did you put in this? Um, some of it is autobiographical. Some of it is stories I picked up along the way. And some of it is just, you know... When you're on guard duty with nothing better to do, you kind of let your mind wander to come up with something way more exciting than what you're doing. <laughs> well, I think everyone that's staying at home right now is in the same boat with trying to come up with stories or something in their mind, even if yes. they're not thinking about writing them. But it's like, oh, what could I do to fill the time? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But if people are wondering what to do to fill their time, they should buy books. Just a suggestion. Oh, always. I mean, Dove and Dragon, if you get a hold of me or one of the authors in Dove and Dragon, we'll give you a free re ebook right now. But you have to go through us to get it. Like, hint, hint, people. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Who wants a free ebook? Oh, okay. We have a few free ebooks, but you have to get a hold of either myself or the author to get it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're not self promoting anything or anything. <laughs> oh, no, never. <laughs> 
So we have the second one that you're writing. Do you have a synopsis for that one yet? Okay, so this one is about a... Um, it's essentially a bunch of ne'er-do-well, well, not ne'er-do-wells. So essentially I have this hitman who is the main character in it. And he finds himself suddenly in a situa- in a hostage situation with a bunch of guys who are there to take out one particular mob boss, but their plans are thwarted because no one anticipated this random guy being there and none of them know who he is or what he is. Hmm. This sounds interesting. A little bit different from the first one. But yeah. again, it's not a sequel, so we can do that. So exactly. I can't wait, to, can't wait to get into it so I can get it inside your head, start doing the covers. I don't know if anyone out there understands that I do most of the covers for our publishing house. Not all of them, but most of them. So I can't wait to play with this one. We're getting so, there for some ideas. We're getting there. Yeah, because you, you have been inside my head a little bit, so you understand the process of what I need to pick things apart. Yep. Well, I try <laughs> anyway. Well, I think the first one came out pretty good. I like it. Yeah. And most everybody else has who's seen it too, so... Yeah, I mean, we do awesome work on our publishing house. Oh, and we have coming soon to walmart.com is all the Dove and Dragon brand books. Yay. Yeah, well, I mean, we want to get these into the hands of readers as quickly as possible, right? For real. So we have that going on can't really go into anything else outside of books right now. So what is happening in the land of being an author with, I'm guessing your kids are home full time right now? Yeah, so currently in my house, it's my wife working full time from home, me working full time from home, a 10 year old going to school full-time from home, and a seven-year-old going to school full-time from home, and then three dogs. So, you know. And I'm hoping never... there's four, four computers going at one time. Three. Well, we have more than three, but the the seven-year-old, he still gets his stuff in workbook form. But, yeah, oh. everybody else is online. Well, that kind of makes things easier. I mean, my 17-year-old found out today she's homeschooled for the rest of the school year. Yeah, they haven't officially announced that here yet, but uh, um, it's coming. It's just a matter of time because I think every state around us has now done it. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I'm like, no, because she's – okay, if anyone out there has a child like mine, you'll understand this. All of her work – the teacher sent her a packet of work to do beginning of the week. It's supposed to take her two weeks to finish this packet of work. It takes her a day and a half. So now she's doing the work for in a day and a half. It's all done correctly, so she's on vacation. Well, I have a kid who's sort of the exact opposite of that. She gets all of her work for the week and then figures out that it only takes me a day to do it, so I'm not doing it until Friday. So we're like, like you know, procrastination's bad. So, yeah. Yeah, well, it took, let's see, she's 17, so it took a couple years to get to the point, well, if I do it all the first, then I can just sleep the rest of the week, and no one has to get me up. Hey, I'm... I like that attitude. That's me, too. I don't get it done and get it over with, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Exactly. I mean, we're all working on stuff right now because out of boredom. I'm offering free podcasts to anyone that wants to come on because, seriously, we all need entertainment right now. It's getting to the point where it's... Okay, I want to go Bill back... Bill Murray and Groundhog Day. Yeah, I want to go back to work, but at the same time, I want everyone to stay safe and stay healthy. Yep. 
I can uh, tell you this virus is no joke. I mean, here I am going on like day 16 and I still feel like crap. <laughs> so, yeah, it's no good. No. So, I mean, stay home. You don't want to go out to public. You want to wear your mask. People, seriously, stay away from the <laughs> beaches. <laughs> right? Come on now. I mean, I have a lot of family down in Kentucky, okay? They were protesting last week the stay-at-home order. They just doubled their amount of cases this week. The, this is uh, Monday. This is yeah. Monday. So, yeah. Not, we, unfortunately, unusual. There's a lot of that going around. Mm-hmm. So... What else is interesting happening in the world of my wonderful author? Uh, Let's see. Um, So my oldest daughter, who lives with her mom in Kansas City, is much like yours. uh, She's a senior in high school. They pretty much nixed the rest of the school year and kind of told her, hey, you're going to graduate, so chill status. So she's happy but driving her mother nuts because – She's kind of in that same boat. I'm on vacation. I'm not allowed to go to work. So hearing from that every, you know, once or twice a week is pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. And it's uh, um, really it, man. We're confined to home. There's not, like, a whole bunch of stuff to get into. I know more about the upcoming NFL draft this year than I've ever known before. So, hey, that's something. <laughs> okay. So, Other than, so – Opinion, are we going to have a football season this year? I it, I don't think it's going to be a full football season, and I don't think fans will show up to a game this year. That'd be college or pros. I think it'll be, it'll be next quote-unquote year before we're back, or next year before we're quote-unquote back to any semblance of normal is my guess. <sighs> it's driving me crazy not having baseball this year. And yeah, going- me too drove up the wall if we don't have football. So I take it you're an Indians and Browns fan? Oh, no, no, no. Yankees okay. and 49ers. Ugh, ugh, twice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm horrible. I don't I don't support my state. I know. I'm horrible. Yeah. It's okay. I, we'll forgive you. Yeah. I, I mean, we can't all be perfect, right? Yeah. But um, no, I actually I football. I watched the Forty ers during the regular season. Super Bowl, <clears throat> I flip a coin to see who I'm rooting for for that year. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter at that point. But last year, I couldn't choose a team either way. <laughs> this is an interesting phenomenon. I love the Forty ers as a team. But I have a high school alumni that was on the Chiefs. So do I vote root for my high school alumni or do I root for the 49ers? High school of alumni, of course, won last year. So, yeah, I, I couldn't, in all fairness, choose one of the, uh, over the other. That's fair. Like I said, my kid, my older, my ex-wife and my older two children live in Kansas City, and I lived there for almost a decade. So I've adopted both the Chiefs and the Royals as my team. So I feel you. Yeah, I mean, it was just one of those things that happened. I mean, it's cool that it happened, but at the same time, right. it's annoying because I can't really enjoy the game because I'm like. What am I rooting for? I can't really yell at the TV this year. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those you cheer for a good game and go on. Yeah, pretty much. And you got your wish because it was a good game. It was a good game. It was an awesome game. And we're still talking about it because we have no sports to talk about yeah. right now. <laughs> right now I should be fully enthralled in what the Royals are going to do at the trade deadline, but hey, what if? <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, okay, what are we doing with World Series? Well, I don't see World Series happening this year. 
Right. It's going to go away the same way as the NCAA tournament is my guess. Yeah, it, it sucks. It's like, okay, so we're on Pandemic. So what movies have we watched on Netflix or whatever? Um, movie. I, I, we've watched some stuff, but nothing really gr- great comes to mind. Um, I'm almost through the new season of Harry Bosch because that's like my show. But it, Michael Connelly's one of my heroes too, so, uh, you know. And then, um, what else have we been watching a lot of? Rewatching The Blacklist. That's a really good show. Uh, I know we've watched movies, but I can't think of anything that, like, really captured me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we, well, I might, I still don't have the TV on, so. <laughs> right. But I'm a little bit busy putting all your guys' books out, dealing with Walmart, and dealing with Amazon and everything else right now. Well, busy is not bad. Keep you, keep you some semblance of sane. I could deal with a little less busy. <laughs> that happy balance, huh? Yeah, I, I would love to have that happy balance that I had, like, back in January. It's insane because we everyone is on lockdown basically. So yep. I should have some time off, right? No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Actually, I would think you'd have less time because I'm going to guess that most of your authors now have more free time on their hand and they're producing more stuff, right? Pretty much, which is yeah. awesome. I love having more books to put out. I do. Right. And I love having my authors on the show. And then you put in my daily work that's not publishing related. So Yeah. The day job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So but yeah, this is fun. I mean, we're all just pretty much trying to fill the void right now. Pretty and, much. Okay. So where can the listeners find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Um, yeah, those are the three main ones, I guess. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, LinkedIn? Uh, yes, I'm on LinkedIn. Okay, and you have Author Central, so we can find you on Amazon. Yep. See, there's a lot more. See, you know this better than I do. Well, I was just last night, what was it? Hey, guys, make sure your uh, Amazon accounts are up to date. <laughs> yeah. And it was. I just don't remember to look there very often. Well, you have one book, but I have mm-hmm. authors that have like six or seven. I'm right. Like, um, and I'm only finding one or two on their Amazon accounts. Yeah, yeah, I can see a it, problem. Yeah. It it's, helps when everyone gets, hey, Make sure it's updated. Right. So, but I think I, we covered everything right now because there's not a lot really to cover except stay home, stay safe, and stop protesting. Seriously, I want to get back to normal sports season here soon. <laughs> me too. At least give me something to do in the evenings, listen to in the garage while I'm tinkering with something. Yeah, we we need something that's sports-related on the TV that's not a rerun of last season's games. <laughs> right, or 50 seasons ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point where hmm, TV's not that interesting. Yeah, I completely agree. My 17-year-old's even to the point where YouTube is not interesting. Yeah. My kids aren't to that point yet. I wish, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Give them time. They uh, have all summer yet. Oh, uh, yeah, don't remind me. I'm just hoping come August that they can actually go to school. That'd be nice. Oh, that would be so awesome. Send my daughter to senior year actually at school. Right. 
That would be awesome. Especially since next year she's taking college college courses. Well, get her it for it. That's all. It, it would be nice to have her actually at the college. Well, that too, except for more colleges are going more and more to the online system anyway, but that's a whole different ball game. Yeah, well, at the senior level of high school, as long as she's in a school, I'm happy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for her to be in college yet. Yeah. But I'm ready to for, yeah, for her to be in a school. That would be great. But it was nice chatting with you. We'll have you on again as soon as your book is done and I can publish it. A couple of months, man. It's getting there. No, I, I want to see deadlines. I can start imposing deadlines. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's not gonna work because I can't keep <laughs> I can't keep to my own deadlines that I give myself. So, but it was nice talking to you. You too. Uh, hopefully, we have some nice weather that we can at least barbecue in our backyards this weekend. For I concur. Or at least let me get some out on the mower just to mess around and kill some time. Yes, something. Something that gets us physically out of the house but still on lockdown. Exactly. Okay. Well, it was nice talking to you, and we'll have you on in a few months. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Happy reading. Uh You too. Bye-bye.